Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiara, and this is my first video. So I am going to be talking on this channel about um, beauty products that I love, home products that I love, uh, fashion, sort of that kind of stuff. And um, I figured since winter season is upon us, it would be a really good time to kick things off with a video on my favorite candles. So this one's going to be featuring uh, some of my favorites by Diptyque, uh, by Rado, and Le Labo. And yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I already have Feu de Bois by Diptyque uh, burning right now. Feu de Bois translates into firewood. And I just opened it up. This is the box it sort of comes in and presentation is of course beautiful and minimal. Um, it sort of just comes in this little box and there is I believe a care card on uh, burning the candle and you know maybe what candle you could uh, burn it with so this one they recommend that you burn it with the amber candle to maybe accentuate the fragrance so yeah uh, that's the first one it's definitely a warmer woodsier scent so it's one of my favorites to burn you know as the seasons get colder because it's just it is what it says, it, it, it basically smells like really a, a great warm fireplace. And so in the colder months, especially leading up to Christmas, it feels incredibly homey. And then these are a couple of smaller size candles I have. These are vanille or vanilla and bay or berries. So with the larger size, um, it's about 190 grams. And these guys are 70 grams. So I believe the larger ones in this presentation is $68 US and these guys are 36. Um, these ones will give you about 50 to 60 hours of burn time and I believe these give you around 30 to 35. So it really depends on, you know, kind of what your needs are, how long you want to burn these for. Um, I just, uh, I, I prefer to have these more so when I want to, um, maybe like when I'm between scents or if I'm feeling like I just want to burn something for a short amount of time and not be too committed to the scent, uh, these are great options. And then we will temporarily go even smaller than these. This was, I believe, a Nordstrom exclusive, if you can see that right there, um, it was a mini set of five, uh, was it five or was it six? It was five mini candles. So hopefully that tipping it over, I can show you here. So it was Bay, which is our most popular scent because I would describe it as being, so Diptyque describes it as being a bouquet of black currant leaves and roses. And I feel like that's pretty on the money because it's a very intriguing scent because it, it, it walks the line between being a floral and a fruity scent really well. And then there's roses, which just smells exactly like red roses. There's a figue or fig tree, um, definitely a more green scent. Uh, there's a mini food de bois, so just a, a really tiny size of that. And then narguile, which is, I believe, a recent uh, release. I'll open one of these up to show you. So these are even smaller than um, the minis I just showed you. So these guys, again, are 70 grams. Um, this one is 35 grams. So it's even, it's half the size of uh, the minis they typically sell. Um, so they're super, super, super cute and tiny. Um, and Narguile, I believe it translates in, um, into like tobacco pipe or hookah is what it means in English. Um, so it basically just smells like like tobacco and honey and smoke and it's a really again it's a great winter scent definitely more masculine it honestly reminds me of a really yummy men's cologne so i i do really like this one i'm debating getting a larger size uh this little set was great because uh it it introduced me to food de bois and uh, narguile in the trial sizes and I feel like that's a great way to sort of also dip your toes in a new candle or a new scent and uh, figure out, you know, because it smells like one thing in the in the um, pot, but when you burn it, it kind of changes, of course, a little bit. So it's a great way to sort of um, 
explore and just see what you like, uh, what you don't like before committing to this full size that again burns for a really, really long time. So yeah, this was definitely um, a really fun buy. I already burned through these three. So I've got Feu de Bois and Narguile to go. I might save those for traveling, honestly, because I think these are great can candles to travel with this size because this, these honestly just burn for like maybe 10 hours, 15. So um, I think it's a great candle to travel with because if you're going on, you know, not that that, many people are traveling this year but it's a great candle to take with you on a weekend or four or five day trip because you can burn it a little bit every night and enjoy it and uh, by the time you leave you're done with it and then you can take it home and use the recycled glass container as a keepsake which i always do with mine um so yeah i really like that and then let's jump a little bit into a different brand for a second so my next sort of uh, presentation is going to be on Byredo, which is one of my most recent purchases. Uh, I've actually, this is my only candle purchase from this brand, and I'm very excited to see how it burns and how it smells. So this, I think this was my main reason for um, purchasing this candle, apart from the fact that I really like the idea of the scent. So this is actually um, the Indian language, the Indian national language Hindi, and it, it writes out chai, like the tea. So it's the scent is essentially Indian spiced tea. And let me just tip it over. So when you take that out, it's kind of it's a little box like this, and then we lift the lid, and here is the candle. So again, it says chai. Um, in Hindi on the label and this is a very different uh, look than the dip tea candle because you can see the glass is obviously a smoky obsidian looking glass and then the candle wax itself is also uh, jet black so I think it's a very elegant look and yeah it definitely smells like spicy spicy tea so you pick up um, just on a sniff I, I have yet to see how it looks how it feels when you burn it but Hints of cinnamon, cardamom, um, maybe some black pepper. It's definitely spicy. Um, ooh, and, and maybe some clove. That's what I'm picking up here. Um, it's a really, I think this is also, you probably noticed that I'm very into uh, warmer scents. <laughs> I, I typically only burn candles in the winter, and so that's why I tend to go for like woodsier, uh, warmer, muskier scents because I just find them more comforting um, especially in the cold season. So this is, I am really excited to burn this one. It's even, as you can see, it is uh, definitely larger than the dip tea candle. So it will probably burn. I'm assuming it's going to burn for about 78 to 80 hours. So I'm very excited because I'm really enjoying just this, the, sif, the sniff of the candle in the jar itself. And then let's move to... Le Labo, which of course everything always sounds so much better in French because Le Labo literally just translates into the lab. <laughs> and um, this this is Santal 26, which is I believe it's the candle version of their fragrance Santal 33. And so it is basically a sandalwood heavy fragrance and there we go. a little bit different presentation, but I definitely like it. Very, uh, it feels very industrial. And here is the candle. As you can see, I've definitely burnt it already. Um, this one is also uh, noticeably larger than the Diptyque candle. I think when the wax was new, it was right about at this level. Uh, probably like a quarter of an inch more. And um, definitely impressed with the burn time of this. Because I've had this going for about four to five hours, I think three or four times now. So that's about uh, 20, maybe 30 hours. And as you can see, I still have quite a bit of the candle to go. So I'm assuming I'm gonna get at least, at least 70 hours out of this candle as well. And um, this is a very, I have to say, uh, the Le Labo for me, um, I Diptyque is definitely my favorite brand just because I find that um, the burn is always very, very even. Uh, if you'll notice here on the Le Labo candle especially, there's a little bit of unevenness on the wax, like where 
the, it's burnt and like kind of tilted a little bit and also the center is slightly darker than the outside which um, I hope I hope is not indication of tunneling where it just sort of dips down and it wastes the wax all around the edges um, here there's definitely been a lot of uh, um, unevenness and I try to always keep a cozy or something like um, around the candle when I burn it just so like that heat is retained inside and so it burns evenly um, I never have that issue with the diptyque I find that it always burns evenly and cleanly and um, it never uh, looks messy when I burn it. I have yet to look at how the Byredo burns. I'm hoping it's going to burn the same way that the Diptyque does, but I will definitely update you guys on uh, how it is when I do burn that. So that's been a concern here because obviously, you know, when you burn these candles, you do, you know, they're a luxury investment. Uh, part of the appeal to me is also to have them sort of be decor in my room and to look really pretty and to burn really evenly and just you know to, to be a showpiece in some ways and so of course when you you know invest that much uh, money in a candle because these are um, you know on on the pricier side you you don't want it to look unappealing in any way and this to me is uh, slightly unappealing so I'm not a fan of that but what I am a fan of is the way the scent of this is thrown around the room because with the teak um, some candles are definitely uh, heavier than others and that when you burn them they fill up the room more evenly um, some are not but with Santal yes when I burn it it does uh, start to permeate in the room but honestly it's after I burn it like when it's extinguished and I just leave it till it you know the wax cools down I find that the next day my room smells great and it smells like this candle so I feel like it is really really good about throwing its scent um, not only when it's burning but also after it's burning I feel is when the effect really takes place so I do enjoy that the scent is absolutely a very very like subtle sweet sandalwood and the, the yeah I do really um enjoy this scent particularly because even being a sweet sandalwood it's not overpowering when you sniff it and it's not overpowering when you burn it my room doesn't smell of sandalwood when i burn this candle it's a very subtle i honestly it it smells like like really clean fresh linen for some reason it just reminds me of like a really luxurious like set of sheets in some ways but with a slight sandalwood um, aroma. And I know that sounds really strange, but I, I gotta say like that, when I burn this in my room or the house, like I've uh, definitely not had a candle like this where it's such a subtle and yet such a noticeable fragrance. Um, you definitely know, I definitely know when I've had this going because again, it's a very beautiful, sweet, distinct fragrance, but it's not overpowering. It's not like, you know, you've perfumed down your room or you've sprayed something or, or something is reeking. It's just, it's, it's very, they strike the balance of being subtle and yet noticeable at the same time. And so, um, even, even with this sort of, uh, visible issue, I still really enjoy, uh, burning this candle and, and very much, yeah, just enjoy it. So let's, um, wrap up. So also I think, um, I can go into detail a little bit on, on the fragrances themselves. Um, with the, the Diptyque candle, I, I should I just want to say really quick on the vanille or the vanilla. Uh, so to me, I think the vanilla is probably, it feels like a relative of the Santal 26 because it's not your typical sickly sweet vanilla. It's a very... I would honestly go as far as saying it's a very woodsy vanilla. It's a slightly spicy vanilla. Um, there's like, it's not even like hints of nutmeg or cinnamon. It's just like there's, there's a certain depth and a certain warmth to it that when you burn it, it doesn't just smell like straight up vanilla in your room. It smells like um, a very organic you know like vanilla bean paw that you you know just maybe like pulled out of the dirt kind of vanilla because it's uh 
it's earthy and woodsy and rich and so for that reason it does remind me of the santal because again neither of these fragrances when you burn them um give their namesake fragrance to your room it's a very subtle nuanced sandalwood and a very subtle nuanced vanilla that you don't um you don't register right away but um you do know that it smells really good and really warm and really comforting and you just enjoy it it just it just it makes um a very these make very good home scents to me because they just sort of um like they kind of just uh sums up the summary of a really warm homey home to me in these scents really so to wrap up let's talk about a few recent purchases these were actually i just purchased these uh last month and i'm very excited because i finally have a more floral candle in violet or violet um i think apart from the bay candle um this is my only other floral candle um or honestly non-woody or spicy candle um in my collection but um i really enjoyed this when i whiffed it in the, st in the store i was really surprised at how subtle and how fresh it was but the reason also that i don't go typically for florals and specifically white florals um, in my candles or my perfumes is because simply they give me a headache um, like tuberose, freesia, gardenia, lilies I know that they are beautiful flowers and I know that um, a lot of people do like them but to me they just they always have it they've always made me a little dizzy they've always gave me a headache made me a little nauseated so I've just strictly stayed away from florals for that reason the violet is very different it's not at all of like a like an overpowering floral it's actually a very subtle floral I think that's why I really like it. Um, it just smells very clean and fresh, and I think that, um, like in the months of maybe maybe like February or March, when you know the transition from winter to spring is happening and the flowers are starting to bloom in your garden or around you, would be a great time to light this candle because it smells basically like a flower garden, and I love that. And I find I think that you know like when you're sort of, you know, ready for winter to be over again, like in February or March, and you're sick of the cold and you want um you're welcoming spring in um you're probably over you know the more heavier woodsier muskier fragrances too even if that's not your thing and you're ready for something fresh and clean and rejuvenating and so i imagine that's when i will burn this is in those months when i'm um looking forward to the spring and this one is called opapanox um in the store they also called it opakanox with a c in the uh in the middle um which I believe is a spice and that's what this smells like it's a very again it's a very spicy scent very woodsy but not spicy in, or woodsy in the way food of Bois is this one honestly to me reminds me of a really musky men's cologne but I love them I love men's colognes I find them even to wear as a, as a girl myself I find it really fun because I just love Especially in the colder months, the heavier, warmer, to me, you know, like sexier tones. Um, I've, again, never really been a light sort of floral, girly, fragrance uh, wearer. So I've just always gravitated towards the more uh, heavier and uh, I suppose more male smelling sort of scents. Just because I find them so much more enticing and so much more um, um, like immersive so i went into the store not knowing at all i was honestly debating picking up a full size of the nargile candle which i had showed him the smaller size of um but i went in and i smelled these guys uh was not expecting i didn't even know this scent existed definitely didn't consider that i would pick up a, a floral scent but i just fell in love with both of them and i said i have to have them both so i walked out with both and um yeah, I realized that uh, this is an absurd amount of candles uh, for one person to have, but these have been collected by me, you know, over uh, this, the past several years, you know, where I've, I've gotten one or two candles around the holiday season. And, you know, I'm very uh, 
careful about you know very intentionally burning them and and uh, you know not leaving them going for too many hours and so they last me a really long time and I imagine these will last me several years and and really I think uh, the best part to me because again you know these candles very much are an investment um, the best part to me of getting these is not only enjoying such you know rich um, aromatic uh, candles that really last a good amount of time that are so beautifully handcrafted it's getting to repurpose uh, the the jars that they come in you know and I know that um, everybody does these but yeah I, I love uh, sort of using them for knickknacks around the house so this is a full-size uh, roses candle that I uh, purchased a, a few years ago and I just I put like my airpods in it this is a little bracelet I put in it um, I typically will put maybe um, a box of matches that I, I use uh, specifically for um, my candles. I put that in here and uh, uh, several times I'll put um, phone chargers in here. Uh, one of my other really favorite things to do is, um, and I, I highly recommend this, if you at all like stones or crystals, I love um, collecting crystals every now and then and I absolutely love this is probably my favorite way of displaying my crystals is in my deep de jars because yes there's a label but they're so amazingly clear that I can see all of my crystals and so I and they're the perfect size because I don't have uh, overly large pieces and, and I don't have too many so they fit in here beautifully and I love to keep these on my bookshelf or on my vanity and um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's really enjoyable to me to get to repurpose my dip tea candle jars, you know, feel like I'm really getting the longevity out of them, uh, the ex continued experience of them, and I get to, you know, I guess um, save money on these little servicing pieces because I have these to store all my keepsakes and uh, it, it sort of helps, you know, uh, feel less guilty about the, the cost of these. So. Yeah, so that was um, my collection so far. Do let me know if you'd like to see. Um, I, I might pick up some candles. Uh, I think uh, there were some really good deals uh, with Black Friday this year, and I imagine there will be some around Christmas time too. So I was debating picking up a few more candles that I really wanted to sort of uh, uh, take a closer look at and start to collect. So do let me know if you'd like to see a part two to these videos. And um, I will be back soon with another video on some kind of beauty product. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. And happy holidays.